is that we've got these limits of nine and four to deal with as well. Oh, have we started? I oh, know. Okay, right. <laughs> Question six. Um, so let's let's try and work out how how the substitution is going to work out to start with. We need we know that we need to know what du by the x is. So if u is one plus x to the half, du by the x is a half x to the minus a half. That's what we get if we differentiate one plus x to the half. So as we rearrange that, well. What have we got? We've got uh, du is 1 over 2 root x, is that right? dx. Now, thinking ahead to what's going to go on here, that, that bottom line there is just going to be replaced by u, isn't it? We need a, a 2 root x in there as well. If we, if we think about rearranging this, then that means that 2 root x du equals dx. I've still got this, this root x is a problem. But if I go right back up here, root x is u minus 1. So let's replace that. So this is 2 lots of u minus 1 du is equal to dx. Now that, that took quite a bit of messing around to get to that point. But I think we're about ready to do the substitution. There's one more thing we ought to do, and that is alter the limits. If x equals 4, then u equals 1 plus root 4, which would be 3. If x equals 9, u equals 1 plus root 9, which would be 4. Go on, Tom. Right, in, a, in a situation, what happens if when you work out new limits, the top of this lower than the bottom of it? It means your um, answer may end up either being negative or it, it will probably work its way out. Is that allowed though? Or would you swap them over? What will probably happen is if, if it's ended up that, that it's the other way around, that you'll have a minus sign appearing in your integral as well. Yeah. And, and what you could do is you could just go with it and it will work itself out because the minus sign will resolve itself with the wrong way around limits and, and it'll be fine. Or you could flip the limits and get rid of the minus sign because it has that effect. If you swap the limits, it just makes it negative. Just go with it and it'll work itself out. So we're ready to change the integral. We've got this as being now the integral from 3 to 4. I'm replacing. 1 plus root x with u. I'm replacing dx with 2u minus 2 du. And I'm still not quite ready to integrate, so I'm going to sort out this fraction. Um, split up the fraction, and I've got 2 minus 2 over u like that. We're now ready to integrate it. Notice this is the same kind of trick that we used in the last one, isn't it? To, to split up the fraction like that. We've got 2u minus 2 ln u between 3 and 4. If we put the, the values in, we're going to have 2 4s, which would be 8, minus 2 ln 4. Take away 6 minus 2 and then 3. Uh, the question wanted us to give our answer, or oh, you wanted us to get to 2 plus 2 ln 3 quarters, that's quite nice. So we've got 8 minus 6 gives us the 2, we're happy with that. What else have we got? Well, we've got minus 2 ln 4 plus 2 ln 3. If, you, if you're confident just to write down the answer from there, then, then great. You might want to say, if we do that, then we can spot that because we're subtracting now, it would be three quarters in our final answer. 
Have we got that? Great. Happy? Yeah.